consciousness and we will talk about how you rebuild the consciousness or the genetic uh, weaknesses within your cells because this is what is essential in the young people today. So uh, important to understand that, that aspect of a thyroid weakness. Also important to understand that the, para, that the pituitary is a big suppressor of the thyroid in and of itself. Goiters, swelling, that's all the lymphatic system. Again, I don't want to go into the lymphatic system on this video. Review the other videos, but your lymph system is the sewer system. This all spawns from one thing, kidney and adrenal gland weakness where your body's not filtering this lymphatic system. We get big goiters in here all the time. Easy to get rid of goiters. You don't have to remove your thyroid gland. It has nothing to do with it. That's your lymph system in your thyroid gland. Easy to fix that. Get these lymph nodes under the arms, the axillary lymph nodes cleaned out. Get the, get the kidneys to filter them and everybody drains. In hypo cases where there's underactivity of a gland, you have to look at whether it's a pituitary or the thyroid. Too complicated to tell you in a video like this. I do do the iris work, which is a, uh, an in-depth look at the cells of the body, and I can tell you from that. But when you learn how to uh, analyze a person through their symptoms, it's easy to tell whether they're having pituitary or, or thyroid problems. Those particularly without tonsils are going to have these problems because the tonsils are the lip nodes or the septic tanks to the brain, at least part of them and very serious not to remove them. Medical doctors never knew how to simply clean out septic tanks instead of remove them. Uh, in, the para, in the hypothyroidism, I do use what's called glandulars. And these are desiccated uh, bovine source of glands. Now, you all those are Puritans out there might be mad at me. But uh, I, I do believe that everything is karmetically tied, e even the animals. So important uh, in the, we have some very chronic cases of thyroid, hypothyroidism, the adrenals and most people are shot. If you have blood pressure below 120, you have low adrenal function. And the lower you go, the more serious that is. And that's your neurotransmitters for the autonomic, and that's your steroids. And you check both arms in blood pressure. Your blood pressure is simply your adrenal glands on top of your kidneys, systolic on top of diastolic. Diastolic represents your kidneys. It's easy to get rid of high blood pressure. The problem in most people, including high blood pressure cases, is that in reality they have low blood pressure because that's a weakness that ends up becoming high blood pressure in time. So important in terms of looking at glandulars, I do use desiccated glands to increase the function. It's almost like stem cell type of thinking. It gets into physics and, and, and magnetics and, and, and like attracts like, so to speak, and, and how magnetics increases magnetics, the homeostasis of physics. So it, it, it's kind of understanding how that is when you take glandulars. But in a chronic state of the young people, we almost have no choices. Because using botanicals is a slow process, even though very aware, uh, botanicals for the glands are, are much slower. They will do the job, but much slower. All your berries out there are all for the glands of the body. So eat a lot of berries in your diet. Most suppression, even genetics, is coming from your lymph system. So you want to always move on your lymphatic system. A lot of people have hypothyroidism from all the mucus. And this mucus comes from the use of milk. After age two, remember, your body can't digest or use milk. We're biologically supposed to be weaned. But then we do something in our society. We're so scared of bacteria, we don't understand their important role. We, go, we, we think we can kill them, so we pasteurize everything. We blame everything on pathogens and nothing on the culturing medium. So really go after that lymph system. Understand what your lymphatic system is and how that is tied to the kidneys and the control the adrenal glands has on that. And you will have more knowledge than most medical doctors by far. Not to beat up medical doctors all the time, but if we don't stop killing people and hurting people in that community, there's going to be some serious repercussions coming that way. We don't have to hurt each other to get each other well. You don't have to hurt people with pharma deadly pharmaceuticals and these toxic chemicals. I mean, this is, this is, we have to stop this. We have to stop this FDA and this, these pharmaceutical companies from, from, from hurting us because that's what's going on. Just listen to the commercials on TV and listen to some of these side effects. 
death, coma, uh, blood clots, uh, strokes, heart attacks. That's acceptable. I've never seen an herb do that to anybody. In 40 years of the massive use of herbs, I've never seen them hurt anybody. So we've got to stop this slaughter of each other and start helping each other and bring love to this planet and help each other get well. It's not difficult. And the same thing with the thyroid or the, or the pituitary or the adrenals. It doesn't matter. Or the ovaries, the prostates. These are all endocrine glands. And all these glands are nothing but cells and two major fluids. Always realize that your lymph system is what breaks things down because it deals with the acid or corrosive side of chemistry. The blood cannot deal with acids. Therefore, your lymph system cannot dump its waste back into the venous system as medical doctors think impossible and you still stay alive. Your kidneys are major filters of this gigantic sewer system and when they fail you see lymphedema. Well the average person doesn't realize they pee okay and they think okay my kidneys are working well. No, you got a filter from your kidneys and the filtration of, of, of the lymph system through the kidneys will breed a very cloudy urine. When you pee you want to see sediment in your urine. This is all tied into cleaning all the glands. I've always said whether it's hypothyroidism, adrenal insufficiency, I don't care what problem you have. Detox the lymph system. Get your acids out of these tissues. Get all this mucus, the, the, this inflammation in other words. Get all this stuff out of the body and strengthen your cells that comprise your human body. And there's nothing you can't correct. There's no condition. There's no care how advanced it is. I've seen the bodies of twisted people with extreme Lou Gehrig's that were all twisted like donuts and their skin grown to each other, totally untwist and come right back out of it. I've had Fox News uh, filming some x-rays of extreme scoliosis and old fractures that, were, that, that had healed out of shape and the body pulled itself back straight. The power your body has is amazing. We've got to get our heads out of this treatment-based thinking and start understanding how do we make the cells, whether it's the thyroid, the parathyroid, the pituitary, the adrenals, the thymus, how do we make our cells healthy? You must learn that the lymph system uh, is the, the major system that breaks down tissue because it deals with the acid corrosive side of chemistry. How simple. All the body is is a bunch of cells and two fluids and there's only two sides to chemistry. That, that's pretty easy guys. And you get that and you've got a great knowledge there. If you need help always call the clinic. They can help you with these cases. Uh, and uh, the diets, always raw, always fruititarian, it's much better. It's a, it's a good start. The herbs are, we need them. I can only tell you I've been dealing with botanicals for 40 years. Without the botanicals, hard way to go, hard way. I get a lot of people that are raw foodists, that are fasters, and they're just not getting it nowadays. You've got to go deeper, more power, more energetics, and that gives you into the fruits and into the herbs. So I hope I helped you a little bit with the hypothyroid cases. Always raw, get in the herbs, always move your lymph, get your kidneys moving, get your bowels cleaned up because you, your transverse bowel can actually be responsible for draining the sinus and the throat and the thyroid lymphatically. So you always want to clean this hub. This is the embryonic trunk in the embryo. You want to clean this gut tissue up, get your kidneys filtering, fix the adrenals on top. And if you have to use glandulars, you have to use glandulars to do this. Uh, that you'll need a practitioner to help you with those. Uh, use the herbs to, to also, there's herbs for the adrenals and thyroids out there. And really get your health back. And it's a fun ride, it's an energetic ride, it opens up the mind, it quiets the mind, it brings about a far greater awareness, and it's a heck of a fun ride, and the body feels really good too. So listen, it was good talking to you today, and I appreciate your questions. Keep bringing them in, I'll try in a timely manner, I'm, I'm very busy, uh, so I apologize if I don't get something to you in time, but uh, we're, we'll always try to help you, okay, get well. All right, thank you and have fun today, okay? Bye-bye.